You are now listening to Serious Minds RN TV with your host, Professor Griff. The call in number is 516 654 7688. That's 516 654 7688. This is Professor Griff, and this is Serious Minds RN TV. Serious Minds for Serious Minds. Seriously.
Visuals up on the board. Hold on a second, fam. Yeah, I get some visuals up on the board. All right. I think that might do it. If that don't do it, let's see if we can do it like this. I think that might do it. And if that don't do it, which I don't like that camera. Let's see if we can get a better camera. Let's see if we get that camera. All right, that camera seems to be a better camera. All right, greetings, 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 everyone. It's Professor Griffin, of course. Y'all already noticed the Serious Minds are in TV. I'm slowly rolling this time back that I am coming on the air. All right, I'm not no longer doing those late nights. <laughs> Got some things I need to be doing in the morning, man. You know, getting ready, trying to get some training in. So, got to have my mornings so that means i gotta get my behind the bed at night anyway shout out to everyone serious minds family on ig right over here thank you all very much for tuning in thank you all very much thank you thank you thank you um and then of course everyone over here on i'm sure y'all got sound now come on right yeah all right thanks to everyone on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, and anywhere else that you might be seeing this. I know you are probably busy today. It is Saturday. You're probably hanging out, getting ready to hang out, or having a hangover from last night. Not sure what y'all do, but anyway. Anyway, tonight's subject, we're going to be talking about Happy Who's Year. Did y'all hear what I said? Happy Who Year. All right, let's say it one more time. Happy who? Like the World Health Organization who? All right, we're not talking about Happy New Year. We're talking about Happy Who's Year. Whose year is it? All right, so we're going to dive into that. And as promised, we are going to do a quote every single day. If there's one day I don't come on, the next time you'll see me, I'll double and triple up the quote. All right, so. We're going to be pulling the quotes. Peace, Quan. What's good? Glad you could join me. Really appreciate that. And as Quan says, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share, fam. And do not forget to hit the bell so you can receive instant notifications. All right. And also, if you would like to do, if, sign up for the app for the <laughs> Developing Urban Tactical Mindset, please do so. It's a six weeks online course. You can text 678-557-2919. You can sponsor someone, all right? And that's what we have going on now. You can sponsor someone for $150. It's a six weeks online firearms course. Someone asked me, they said, I heard your advertisement, but what is it for? Um, It's, it's firearms course, all right? With in-person range dates, all right? Since we're going, still going through the pandemic, I would suggest that we take the course online and then when we meet in person, we do not have to kind of go over and then over and then over again the basic stuff that we would learn in the classroom any old way. Developing an Urban Tactical Mindset, six weeks online course. Hit me up, 678-557-2919. Starts Sunday, January 9th at 7 p.m. All right? If you would like to support independent black media, you can do so by no donating on the cash app. That's dollar sign Professor Griff. Dollar sign, Professor Griff. And the way I see it, fam, and maybe y'all can help me out. If you benefit and pull something and take something and you've learned something from listening to the broadcast, just donate something. Just say, I appreciate you, Professor Griff. Here you go. All right. Okay. So when we talk about independent black media and black uh, news sources, we have to support those because... You can easily tune into the mother people, which you're going to have to navigate through the rhetoric, racism, lies, and racism, white supremacy, which you're probably going to do anyway. All right. That's Dollar Side Professor Griff on Cash App. If you would like to purchase any of the merchandise, you can do so by going to my website, professorgriff.me. Submit your, submit your payment to PayPal. And that would be the Serious Minds Brain Tonic. And the resurrection formula, 
you already know. And of course, somebody must have nicked me for my headgear. Hold on. All right, of course, y'all already know. I got the RBG, the red, black, and green. Public Enemy Snap Blacks. All right. Of course, I got some gold ones left, which I think are kind of dope. All right. And of course, we got AR-15 Max. They normally go for $29.99. And um, you just kind of let them go for $19.95. Just make sure... You send me some extra loot so I can get them over to you through the mail. Brandell Bone, thank you very much for the donation. Really appreciate you, good bro, as always. All right. The book that we're going to be coming from, and make sure you get this book today, right now, as we speak. All right. Any of the uh, Serious Minds, Brain Tonic, and the Resurrection Formula, you can go to my website, SeriousMindsInstitute.com. Or public enemy, pardon me, Professor Griff dot me, or just go to Devi Tribe Wellness. All right, Shawnee Black, what's good with you? All right, the book is called Nine Sassim. I know it's a tongue twister. All right, we're getting back. Nine Sassim. This we're going to be reading from this book every single time we come on. I don't want y'all to get bored. We're going to make it really exciting. All right. Um, it's a, a revolutionary daily thought, so we can just go by the date. And this book is by Molly Muke Bumani Baruti. All right. Look the book up right now. Order the book now. Voodoo Glitch, what's good with you? Quan, how you feel? All right. Nah, I don't think I can send that over. I'm not sending that overseas, love. Contact Baruti. He can get to you the book overseas. All right. What's the name of the book again? Nain Sasem. N Y A N S A S E M. All right. Okay. A calendar of revolutionary daily thoughts. Iwali Muke Bomani Baruti. All right. January 1st. January 1st, can it be an accident that the only people who have built an entire culture based on dominance of others are also the only people who are called Caucasians? That's our quote. That's by Marimba Ani, but it's also Marimba Ani poses a question. So I just want you to take a deep breath right now, and I need you to think about it. Give thanks, Quan. Quan says she's resting. Rejuvenation is my mindset right now. Preparing for the week. Uh, as we prepare for the days, the weeks, the months, and the entire year, that's what we should be doing. We're going to follow Quan's lead. Marimba Ani asked the question, can it be an accident that the only people who have built an entire culture based on dominance of others are also the only people that are called Caucasians? Okay, let it sink in, let it marinate. All right. All right. It says, can this reality truly be an accident? Can a weight of heartless, spiritless, lying, raping, pillaging, poisoning, thieving, exploiting, appropriating, destroying, disrespecting, murdering, oppressing, genocidal insanity be repeated day in and day out for centuries. And then they expect the people that they brought into their world as slaves and made slaves, not as slaves, but made slaves, be sane. That's not Marimbani or Imwali Muke Borani Baruti, that's Professor Griff. Because we're talking about the idea of this insanity that, that went on last night. 
All right. And some of y'all are guilty of it. And some of you participated in it. All right. They said they've been doing this day in and day out for centuries on in, in ignorance of the originators and primary perpetrators. Can we act like we're going to turn a blind eye? All right. And the deaf ear to the of our history, of our open enemy's history, and then look at it as though we can write it off as being sanity. And then we look at it as sane, and then we measure ourselves by that insanity. So much so, some of us would rather participate in it in order to fight against it. As Neely Fuller Jr. says, and Dr. Francis Cress Wilson says, there's people that's not trying to destroy racism and white supremacy. They're trying to find a comfortable place in it. All right? That's them. Now let's talk about you. What did you do last night? What did you do last night? At the stroke of 12, what did you do last night? What's the whole idea of New Year's for? Help me out, fam. Is it really a new year? Is it actually a new year? I'm just posing a question and facilitating a conversation. Maybe I'm asking a question that you probably didn't think about. C-Dub said he prayed at 12 o'clock. What did you do? Lorray, you was at work? Okay. You celebrated the new year, but January is not a new year. And what are you, what are you celebrating then? What, what are you celebrating? Be careful now that when you tie yourself and your energy and your spirit to these holidays, what you tie in your spirit to. Renee Brooks said, I just basically had a peaceful sleep. How could you have a peaceful sleep, Miss Renee Brooks? When I've when I've probably in my head counted at least 1,500 to 2,000 gunshots last night. I know you're saying, well, damn, well, where do you live? How many did how many of y'all did the same thing? Sat in your bed and just like, damn. Will, it, will I get hit by a stray bullet? Will one come through the wall, through the ceiling, through the roof? At least 2,000. At least 2,000. Brother uh, Sergeant Small said, I can't lie. I was jamming with a funky band in Brooklyn, enjoying the musical vibrations. That's a beautiful thing. Ain't nothing wrong with you hanging out with your band getting down. Treating it just like it's another weekend. Beautiful thing. Got you. Chris said, I heard gunfire. Shawnee Black said, I did paperwork. Brandel Bone said, I agree. I heard gunshots also. Elijah Eats says, I was in Memphis and it's bad. Gunshots is an understatement. You said gunshots was minimal last night? Wow. Why? People trying to save ammo? All right, fam. So now let's dig deep. What is the origin of the first called New Year? The first of January called New Year. Miss Shia said, I kissed my husband. All right. We don't know your husband, but I'm sure your husband got a kick out of the kiss. Really appreciate you. And I'm sure your husband appreciates you. Tina Doan says, I'm in Georgia sitting in my bed looking at the ceiling, waiting for the bullets to rain down. Whew. Our, <laughs> DC Chevy Boy 95 said, I heard I heard fireworks like it was the 4th of July. Exactly. So 
So family, what is it about the first? What is it that you're celebrating? Huh? What is it that you're celebrating? Why is it that you feel like you got to waste all your ammo and then you supposed to spend the rest of the year working to get money up to replenish that ammo? And when those, when those bullets go up, where do you think they're coming down? So have you taken a look at the Gregorian calendar? What is the Gregorian calendar? What is the new year? When did the new year first come into existence? I don't know. I, I don't I don't I think there's some hard hitting questions, but I'm not sure it should be some questions that we should be asking. Ali Muhammad, salute. All right. When was the original New Year? The first time the New Year was celebrated on January 1st was in Rome in 153 BC. In fact, the month of January did not even exist until 700 BC. Y'all didn't hear what I said. <laughs> When was the original New Year's? The original New Year's, the first time the New Year's was celebrated on January 1st was in Rome in 153 BC. In fact, the month of January did not even exist until around 700 BC when the second king of Rome, Numa, or Numa, Pontilius, added the months of January and February onto the calendar. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me January and February weren't even in the calendar yet? And who was he to add them on? Who added on the rest of the months? Next question. When did New Year change from March to January? Well, it, it had to change, not had to change, but it could only change after the month of January and February were added to the calendar, the Gregorian calendar, right or wrong. What is the Gregorian calendar? Festival of Fools. What are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? And then why do you celebrate in the way that you celebrate? Johnny Black, stay on code. Stay focused. Stay focused. So we dedicated our celebration, our frolic, our, our celebratory gun shooting, Dedicated to the Roman and Greek gods? No, you still didn't answer the question though. What is the Gregorian calendar? Stop putting one word sentences up on the screen, fam. No, dig deep. Changes of 1752, the, Ju the Julian calendar was placed by the Gregorian calendar, changing by the form formula for calculating leap years, beginning of the legal new year, moved from March, January, I mean, part March 25th to January 1st. Why? And then what was the Julian calendar? There's some questions that you have to ponder right now. What is the Gregorian calendar? What is the Julian calendar? Why was um, the first of the year at the end of March, really April 1st? What is it about April 1st that was so different from January 1st? And then why did they move it back to January 1st?
brutal glitch. That's unacceptable. Dig deeper. Do some research, man. You got time for a minute. That's why we on here. This is serious minds that attract serious minds seriously. So if you're not going to think any other time of the day, we're going to think right now. What is the Gregorian calendar? The Gregorian calendar is a solar dating system used by the most of the world. It is named for Pope Gregory the Eighth, <laughs> who issued a papal bull um, in turn, <laughs> Gracimus, in 1582. Gravissimus. Speak Greek. In 1582, announcing calendar reforms for all of the Catholic Christendom. So these individuals were coming, changing the day, changing the time, moving days out of weeks to put them in other weeks and moving days around in months and adding months and taking away months. I believe it was Khaled, Dr. Khaled, um, Abdul Muhammad says, those who prescribe the diameter of your thinking control the circumference of your activities, right? So then this question, I beg to still ask the question, what are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? I know some of y'all walking around here on the college campus thinking you Greek. What are you celebrating? America, today, Americans used used to use to a calendar with a year based on Earth's rotation around the sun, with months having no relationship to cycles of the moon, and New Year's Day falling on January first. So you got rid of the sun worship, and you don't do you don't base a calendar on the sun's movement. Now you're basing it on the moon's movement, and before. It was based on stars movement. So then we have these religions based on sun worship, moon worship, and star worship. However, the system that was not adapted in England and its colonies until 1752. What are you celebrating? Shawnee Black. Do we got to come knock on your door for you to stay on code? Tonight's subject, we're talking about happy whose year? 2022. Whose year is it? So you got to study the 1752 calendar change. You have to study the Gregorian calendar. You got to study the Julian calendar. All right. So in order for you to get a grasp on who you lending your spirit and your energy to, what's forcing you to go out and do silly, idiotic things like shooting guns in the air, we got to figure out where is all this madness coming from? Am I right or wrong? Okay. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. No, Joe Jackson, this is not a show where Professor Griff comes and tells you anything. You got to think. That's why I call my show Serious Minds. It's to help you develop your mind. Whatever religion that you're participating in, study the three major religions and figure out why they're based on star worship, moon worship, sun worship. And then out of all of that, figure out 
why are you shooting guns in a celebratory frenzy on the eve? of December 31st, right into January 1st. And then why do we would say Happy New Year? When the new year was actually April 1st. So if they changed it next week to another month, would you follow that? And so what are you basing it on? Anyway. So I decided um, every show, great filibuster. Greetings, thank you very much for the donation. Really appreciate you, good bro. All right. So I decided, again, I need you to go and take that little chump change at your water bottle, all right, and purchase this book, The 12 Universal Laws of Success by Herbert Harris, all right? Well, we're going to uncondition people, Golden uh, Rose Petal. You said they're conditioned to celebrate holidays that they have been told to or allowed to by the slave master's children. Well, we're going to undo that. All right. Don't know why da, 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 da. it says there are two reasons to establish the Gregorian calendar. First, the Julian calendar assumed incorrectly that the average solar year is exactly 365.25 days long. As overstated uh, of a little uh, under one day per century. The Gregorian reform shortened the average calendar year by 0 0.0075 days to stop the drift of the calendar with respect to the equinoxes, all right? Studied the first council of Nicaea, or Nice, in Nice, but it's the first council of Nicaea, all right? Nice or Nice? Think, family. He said, is this why the Coptic Christians New Year is in February? Could be. Let's study it. And Quan, you're absolutely right. The law of attraction is real. And what you speak takes on legs and manifests in your life. It's very real. So now let me read you something that will help you balance that out from this book. The 12 Universal Laws of Success. Herbert Harris. Google this right now. Matter of fact, Google both of these books right now. We're going to be pulling from these books all year. All right? And a few more. On page 19 in the introduction, it talks about levels of consciousness. Um, on the most fundamental level, success is a matter of consciousness. There are three levels of the mind or consciousness. There are conscious mind, subconscious mind, and superconscious mind. Each level of mind has its own characteristics. You're going to have to determine by the time we get off this program tonight, are you still conscious after shooting guns last night and celebrating? All right? Some people had the nerve today to send me peace, hotel, assalamu alaikum, and happy new year. Those, those three, four things don't even go together. They don't. The conscious mind, your conscious mind is what you think. This is your rational, logical mind. It is, a, it is masculine in nature and operates personally, selectively, and judgmentally. Your conscious mind creates and develops your thoughts. Your thoughts have two aspects. The idea, 
the statement of the thought and the feelings associated with the thoughts. All right. You know your thoughts. All right. Bring about and set in motion. All right? It really sets you in motion. But it sets something in motion that you're supposed to manifest at the end of that particular thought. We are the only creatures on the planet that can think the thought and then manifest it. Your conscious mind transmits your thoughts to your conscious mind through the feeling aspect of thought. The conscious mind reasons um, said reasons. I'm looking at that line. I'm saying to myself, does the conscious mind have the ability to reason? Yes, of course it does. All right. It is the unconscious individuals, the non-conscious ones that act without reason. And when you try to reason with individuals, it's like sometimes there's no reason because no place to pull from, pull them from, no place to meet them at. All right. Uh, it says it proceeds and uh, to its conclusions based on observation, experience, and education. The conscious mind represents the world of effect. The subconscious mind, your conscious, your subconscious mind represents what you are. It is your emotional feeling mind, and most of us operate from that subconscious mind. Because some of what we say, not all of what we say, some of what we say is based on how you feel, not what you think, not what you know, but it's based on what you feel is right. And I'm not saying it don't, it don't, I don't want anyone to ignore that gut feeling because that's the creator speaking to you from within you. Subconscious mind is feminine in nature and operates impersonally, non-selectively and non-judgmentally. It is not selective in that it receives all the ideas and gives them form and expression through feeling. All right. Women may say, I love you and I love you and I love you. And men receive that. But men, our expression, we know and understand that if you respect me, then that means you love me. So I, I kept hearing people, well, I could work with people. I don't necessarily got to like them. Good luck. That's why your ass be shooting up the damn post office and having issues at work and all this other kind of stuff. No, hell no. Nah. I'm not working with you if I don't like you. <clears throat> all right, I could just find some people that's like-spirited, like-minded to work with and then we good. See, what you have done is you have taken what we give you in the way of knowledge of self and you're trying to fit it into this Western thinking and trust me, family, it does not work. It doesn't work. You can't do it like that. This may not fit into your Western mindset, man. You got to undo some things in order to do some things. You said it right though, Quan. Facts. You 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 don't like some of your clients. That's cool. You do business with them, but you ain't gotta spend the rest of your life with them. They're your clients, and at the end of the day, good luck, see you, whatever. Do not and stop trying to fit what we give you in the way that we give it to you inside of this Western world's thinking. Not gonna happen. Superconscious mind. The superconscious mind is the source of all creativity and faith. It is your spiritual mind, which is neither masculine nor feminine. Your super superconscious mind operates on a subconscious level at all times, and it has complete and total access to all ideas, feelings, and information stored in the subconscious mind. 
It also has unlimited access to knowledge and information in existence. How many of us have graduated to activate the super conscious mind? Damn right, Quan. Once the damn check clear, that's it. Mm -mm. I am saying to you and just asking a question with what I just gave you. You trying to fit that into a mind molded and shaped by your open enemy. And then you lend so much spirit and energy and of yourself to this world's life. You end up shooting up all your damn ammo uh, last night. Trying to bring in a new year that ain't got nothing to do with you. Absolutely nothing to do with you. Thank you, JW. It is. It is. It's very hard to move, man. So having knowledge of self makes it difficult to move throughout the Western civilization. It makes it very hard, but it makes it really easy because you don't get caught up into the madness. You're not going to be the one strung out on drugs. You're not going to be the one in and out of jail. You're not going to be the one rolling over and looking at Becky ass flat. No, you're not going to be deceived by this world's life. I got a message from someone. What did you do last night? <laughs> someone said, what did you do? <laughs> Let me tell you what I did, and then I'm going to get off of here. I was laying in the bed next to a beautiful woman. Her name is Soleil a beautiful spirited woman. And we watched a documentary film called What Happened, Miss Simone. It was about the life of Nina Simone. And Nina Simone said in that film, she don't know why other artists don't use their talents to speak up and speak out for our people. I saw some of my life in Nina Simone's life. When after she stood up and put a black fist in the air and spoke up because black men during that particular period during the 60s were getting shot down and racism, and white supremacy on a physical level, we saw it happening every day and we saw what was going on to our people. And from that point on, they blackballed Nina Simone. Long live the spirit of Nina Simone. Long live the spirit of Nina Simone. Long live the spirit of Nina Simone. Peace family. Peace, Quan. Make sure y'all sign up for developing urban tactical mindset. All right, six weeks course. Love y'all to life. This is Professor Griff.
hit the like button, share, subscribe, so we can notify you when's the next time we vibe on Serious Minds. Serious Minds. Serious Minds. Serious.